Atlanta, where the Carter Center is located, is the greatest center for human trafficking or slavery in America. A girl who is brown skin or black skin can be sold, according to the New York Times, to a brothel owner for about $1,000. And the brothel owner makes about $35,000 for these forced brothel prostitutes. During a commencement address at Liberty University, President Jimmy Carter claimed Atlanta is the number one spot for sex trafficking in the country. There's no doubt Atlanta has a lot of infrastructure on which traffickers flourish. The world's busiest airport, the intersection of three major highways, and a booming business economy. But are we at the center for trafficking in the United States? 11 Alive's Jeremy Campbell is one of the journalists behind our Selling Girls investigation into sex trafficking. Jeremy joins us for some perspective and context on President Carter's statement today. Jeremy? Cheryl, we spent nine months looking into this very issue, and those numbers that President Carter and the New York Times cite, they come from a 2014 study conducted by the Urban Institute. They were looking into the economics of the industry. Researchers looked at eight major cities, including Atlanta. We included their findings in our Selling Girls investigation. Right here in the United States, there is a thriving underground economy based on selling children for sex. If sex sells, then business is good. Look at all the money. It was almost a billion dollars in this study. Do you see those numbers? Over five years, Atlanta's sex trafficking economy grew by nearly $60 million to more than $290 million right here in Atlanta. That makes Atlanta the most profitable trafficking city in this study. But it doesn't necessarily mean that Atlanta is America's sex trafficking hub. However, when you measure the money, it is the most efficient way that's been found to quantify this very secretive crime. Yeah, all right. Well, whatever needs to happen to protect these young people, I know the city is looking into that. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Appreciate that.